Okay, here we are. This is lesson 10 of drawing a Porsche Abarth. And and uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to, but uh, I actually decided to make this the final one in this drawing series. So uh, this is the last one of the Porsche Abarth. And um, I worked off camera on the front wheel and tire so that I could just concentrate on the body to make sure that I got the values that I wanted. And it came out very nicely. I'm really happy with the way it's going. I'm, I'm just trying to get the uh, a relatively even color in the shading there on the lower part of the body. And that is working out well so far. I darkened up a lot around the, the front uh, air intake around the oil cooler and also in the front uh, of the fender. But now I'm working on the whole side. And again, it's just uh, coming up to the value that I want slowly so that I don't get it too dark. I don't want this to become a black car or a blue car or something. It's silver, and silver should be the easiest color for me to do as a, as a full coverage color because the gray that is the silver in shadow is pretty close to the color that I would use normally with my pen so that this works out just great for me it's really the easiest color for me to do other than black uh, silver is a little faster because they don't have to make the thing a solid color so it actually is easier to do um, it might not be quite as dramatic as, as a black car is because it doesn't have exactly as strong a shadow on it or highlight on it rather but it, uh, it works out great, and I just love it. And this thing came out spectacularly in terms of what I wanted it to look like. It looks exactly like the car that I wanted it to look like. So uh, for me, this is, this is a real victory. I'm so happy with this car. It uh, is only 10 lessons, too, so it wasn't as long as, as many of our cars have been. But... Uh, it's just just working out great. I just love this thing. Anyway, you can see what I'm doing here is I left a couple highlights that are a little bit different. Just in front of the right front tire there, you can see how that's a little bit lighter. It is on the photograph too. And just in front of the right headlight, you see there's a light area there too. And that's the same thing. It was on the photograph, so I put it in. The wheels and on the both sides, both front and rear, um, are a little bit darker than this actually in the photograph, but I wanted them to stand out and I wanted to have a little bit more more say in how they worked out, so I didn't make them quite as dark. They aren't as much in shadow, and I think that tells a better story than, than the original photograph does. I left a lot of detail in both of the wheels too and darkened them up on top so that it looked like there was a shadow on the wheel to give the uh, the stamp steel rim a uh, some depth to it so that you could see that it actually was deep enough that there was a shadow cast on it and that was important to me so I I did it okay now you can see we're back on the passenger side door and working on that to try and get this section uh, when you see me I hesitate for a minute my hand isn't in there it's because I was standing up to get back a little bit so that I could see how we're doing and make sure that I was going in the right direction, not getting too dark and and still not leaving it too light. So that's where we are. 